this is the obsessed Hoogan, 95, doing a review on the Total Sky. Hello YouTubers, and welcome to my 250th video, and what a better way to celebrate it than have a tribute to my first ever video, which was, of course, my Doctor Who action figure review of the Cult of Scarrow sets, which I did over two years ago. So I've been on YouTube now for over two years. So to celebrate my 250th review, I'm going to be doing my first revisited review on the first ever video I did, which, as you can see, is the Cult of Scaro set with the Genesis arc. Now, starting off with the Daleks, so you can see here, we just have the normal bronze Daleks that are featured in the new series ever since 2005. Now, this set was released back like really early on in the action figure line um, for character options because they started making the Doctor Who figures just after the new series premiered back in 2005. I believe that the line started around 2006 or 2007. I started collecting the figures in 2007 and by then it was up and running. Um, there was a few figures out at the time, not that many, but Series 1 and Series 2 figures were all out, and these were the first figures I got, hence why I reviewed this first. But um, I got these figures at a car boot sale uh, thing. It was like this market thing, uh, it was kind of like a car boot sale type of thing and they were all selling these Doctor Who merchandise and I happened to come across this set and I just thought I have to have this because it would really look good with my remote control 12 inch Dalek um, which I reviewed for the 150th video so I got these and these are the 5 inch uh, Daleks but obviously you, you all know that anyway but the thing is, because these were released early on in the character options range, there are a few notable differences which you don't really see on these type of Daleks nowadays in figure form. For instance, the body. Now, the body is a completely different shape to the body's that actually featured in the show. I mean, alright, it's the right shape and everything, but apparently it was partly inaccurate, and apparently this was due to um, the fan base, and it was just all on demand, so they had to get the Daleks out, and the RC range, and all that type of thing, because they released RC packs, along with uh, Chris Freston, and I think there's a David Tennant one. Um, don't quote me on it. I don't actually have them because they were like released really early on in the line. So yeah, the body is a bit inaccurate um, to start off with. Also, the eye stalk, as you can see, doesn't have the blue light, um, which is a bit of a pity. I would have liked to have blue lights on these Daleks. Maybe I could just paint it or something. Um, don't know why I haven't got around to it, seeing as I've had this set for about seven years now, a really long time. Um, of course, first figures I've got. But if you go into the detail wise, you know, you know it's the right set, you know, it's they're called the Scaro. Um, of course, they all have the symbols underneath, the eyes, as you can see here. Now, I've lined these up uh, in order, because I believe all the symbols on here are all different, and they all represent each member of the Cult of Scarrow. 
so we have Dalek Jast, who apparently it has the top line. So that's supposed to be Dalek Jast. Um, don't quote me on it. Um, this obviously is Dalek Con, uh, Dalek Sec rather, um, because he is the only black Dalek in the uh, out for the four Daleks. Um, this is Dalek Con. Uh, I was thinking of that one when I pointed that one, but oh well. And this is Dalek Thay, which is, is supposedly the least important out of the Cult of Scarrow, seeing as part of its skirt got ripped off in the Series 3 Dalek 2 parter. Um, but detail wise, you know it's meant to be the Cult of Scarrow set. Albeit with a few inaccuracies, such as the shape of the body, and also the size of the plunger and the whisk. Now, compared to all the other Dalek figures I have, these look way out of place. Now, the plungers and whisks are huge, and also the eye stalk is quite big. Um, but articulation-wise, it's the same as articulation on any Dalek, I'll use this one, but they're all the same. Uh, head does a 360, you probably know about this anyway, the eye goes up and down, doesn't do a 360 like Paradigm Daleks, but the plunger can do a 360 and the uh, egg whisk can do a 360, always. The fender is painted in the dark green colour which is correct, you can see all the bolts and everything very nicely detailed. and. The bottom just has three wheels with one that can go all the way around with the other two just going forwards and backwards. So overall the detail is very very good, uh, albeit with slight inaccuracies. But I'll give them credit, they have to release them like very quickly. So they corrected it later on anyway and I believe that they released this set again with blue eyes and might have changed the plungers and whisks don't really know obviously because I don't have that set we also have the uh, Genesis Arc that comes in this set which I'm sure you all know about where all the millions of Daleks came out from in Doomsday very nicely detailed just looks like the prop from the television show it also can split in half, so if you want you can recreate the scene when the millions of Daleks come out of one of the sides. I, I take it as that side. Uh, this is like a handle thing for plungers and whisks. Um, I don't know why they have this thing as they didn't really show that in the show, but if I'll just show you, I can take off the handles of this Dalek so you can actually take off the weapons they are removable as you can see so I've took the gun off you can easily put it back in so very good um, doesn't work on all Dalek figures so don't try that and if I just slot that in it does slot in um, well that's roughly what it looks like uh, so, you, you have the uh, plunger, uh, the, the whisk, which has just fallen off. But it can fit in, if you really try, but it takes quite a while. Perhaps you put it in this way. Oh, I don't know. Um, it works a lot better with the plungers um, than the whisks. But, you know, you've got a rough idea. Um, so, a bit of a nifty... Uh, feature to have for the Genesis arc. It's a nice thing to have on the shelf. It's a nice diorama thing. Although it takes up it takes up loads of room on the shelf. Um, well the Daleks themselves take up a lot of room. But overall to expand my thoughts on the Cult of Scarrow set, I'd say it's a very good action figure set um, but since I reviewed it the first time around 
I've realized that there are, there are a lot more inaccuracies. If you want to find out more about these, then I would check out the Aztecs Special Edition, because one of the special features on that DVD talks about the action figures, um, all the action figures, like Daypole, Dennis Fisher, and all that type of thing, and even includes the character options figures, and because the Daleks are so popular, these were the first, one of the first, to uh, be released by character. But, obviously, you have the inaccuracies, like with the plunger, the whisk, and the eyes. But other than that, you obviously know that the Daleks, and you obviously know that this is the Cult of Scaro set. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching my 250th video, which is my first ever review revisited of... The first ever review I did on my channel, the Obsessed Uvian 95. If you want to see the original video, which isn't as good as this, well, I hope it's not as good as this because the whole idea was to make these videos better. But if you've not seen the original, it's still up, you can have a look at it. Um, just go on my playlist, Doctor Who new series action figure reviews, or just even. Doctor Who action figure reviews. They're both the first video on those playlists. So, thank you very much for watching this review, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Please like, rate, uh, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also check out my Facebook group. It was in the description below so you just want to click on there then that would be awesome thank you very much guys and i shall see you next time